volunteers, and I don't think that those rules apply to anyone else. There were special cir circumstances that were only afforded to me. Um, I know at other debates they sort of said it was a matter of paperwork. Was there paperwork that you didn't fill no, out? Or no, and, and that was also a lie before. Uh, Artsfo never sent me a single document, let alone a survey or reminder emails. So uh, did you request ahead of time to be a part of the debate? Yes, we've requested to be part of every single debate. Um, is there anything that you would like to say to the people who organized this debate tonight? Um, well, I think it was an exclusive uh, event by the very nature of its content. The idea of uh, an operational vote based on race to me seems disingenuous and actually against Canadian values. I don't think that we should be seeking votes based on ethnicity. We should be doing it not because of diversity, which separates us, but unity. And that's what I'm hearing with my campaign. People are bringing, uh, coming together and realizing that unity is our strength and they're uni unifying behind my message of safer streets, tough on crime, and easy on taxpayers. And for more, people can go to faithfortoronto.ca. Yeah! There are some issues, though, that do affect certain communities more than others? Uh, perhaps, and if, if, if that's the case, I mean, um, look, hey, I've talked to black Torontonians. You know what they want? Safer streets. I've talked to Chinese Torontonians. You know what they want? Safer streets. Same with Eastern European and all Torontonians. So, at the end of the day, we've got a crime rate right now, a murder rate that tops New York City's. Uh, we've got illegal gun crime that's up almost 200% in the last year alone. These are issues that face all Torontonians, and we shouldn't be breaking down the vote or breaking down the issues based on uh, boutique vote-seeking from certain ethnicities. That's not Toronto. It's really Toronto. Do you think that sort of, um, I've, I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, but just some people are saying that, you know, maybe your tactics aren't welcome in certain uh, debates or in certain areas of the city. What do you say to that, to the people who criticize you? And the Could way you be you more run, specific? Uh, just what do you say to your critics about how you run your campaign? Well, they're, they're welcome to you every show to me. I, I want to engage in debate. I actually want to talk to my critics eyeball to eyeball, and uh, they're not affording me that option right now. So we're bringing our mes message to the streets because whether or not the debate happens on those stages, the debates about the issues that are now facing Torontonians is going to happen, but it's going to be happening around our dinner tables and around our water coolers. It's not going to be happening at these events where they insist on uh, blocking me. Why do you think you're being blocked? Because the political establishment in this city might be, I don't know, what's the word, colluding with the mainstream media to keep the anti-establishment candidates out, and that's what I am. I'm a, I'm a voice not just for Torontonians, but of Torontonians. Okay, anything else you'd like to say? Go to faithfortoronto.ca on October 22nd, cast a ballot for me, Faith Goldie, the only candidate who's going to be tough on crime and easy on taxpayers. Thank you, my friend.